Hi folks, have you heard of Covidence? Maybe you're wondering if you need to use it for undertaking your literature review. Well, the answer could possibly be yes. But before we make a decision on that, I'm going to show you around and let you know what I think of it. What is it? It's a software for managing all the data that you want to include in your literature review. And it's a means of processing, extracting and processing, analyzing, and pulling apart literature. It's really good for systematic literature reviews. We've got a review summary. Basically, we've got a whole bunch of papers that were brought into Covidence. You can see that through the title and abstract screening phase, 2,000 of them were deemed irrelevant. And then we went to full text review. 43 more were excluded. Then we've got 53 articles down there. Is that an obvious place to put that information? I'm not sure. But in any case, we've got 53 articles left and we've done a bunch of extractions. And what the heck is an extraction? I hear you cry. Well, basically, you've got to put in the criteria, the inclusion, exclusion criteria. You um, put in data that you want to know, like the study design, what year it was, who the authors are. Usually that stuff that goes in your big table in your systematic literature review. Or any type of literature review. You could use this for narrative review, etc. So what have we got? Here's one of the papers. Final data. Let's see how it went. I'm going to click on that button. On the left hand side it's going to bring up the actual paper that we have reviewed. And here you can see uh, one reviewer, she reviewed it and blindly I reviewed it as well and we didn't come up with the same stuff all the way along because um, there were different answers that were also correct for example the study ID is this author um, but it's also study number seven so that didn't help because it meant that we had to make a final decision on uh, the discrepancy between the answers there so if there's a final decision that needs to be made, it'll come up in this column here on the left, which is a bit at odds to me because usually we sort of read from left to right in the Western world. So I would expect it to go, you know, reviewer one, reviewer two, and then over here on the edge would be, well, what decision did we come to? And that's um, what I have seen with other software. Anyway, we scroll on down, you can see we've got a whole bunch of different criteria, and then we've got core facts in the article. And this is what we want to pull out in terms of doing that analysis, whether it's a narrative, analysis, thematic, content, um, or other type of systematic. You want to be able to pull out the interesting bits and then synthesize them. And this software allows you to do that to an extent. But you can set it up so that multiple people have to blind review and then you can be sure that you've reached consensus from not just one person reading the paper but mo multiple people reading and assessing the paper. So that can be a really useful thing to do especially in the systematic appraisal. Here you can see all the papers. There's the number that I talked about which is also alongside the author and I can add another text you might have a couple of different text versions to an article so that's fine i also like this function down here add a note and this points us to the importance of making sure that your criteria are really tight and in terms of making it easy for a reviewer to put the correct information in there and that can be really really difficult um, but here you can see a quality assessment template is provided and you can work your way through that. I recommend having as few uh, variables as possible for your multiple reviewers to assess, especially if you're working in a big team, because the more people in the team, the more opportunity for things to go a little bit wibbly wobbly, if you know what I mean. You can have your title, here's the title number of studies that are so far included in our literature review and which papers are in progress. To have, have that um, double review and then uh, the um, conclusions that we've come to have been decided upon and so those ones have been complete in the system. You can set it up in different ways though. If we go out of this extraction space we go back to the main home page and here you can find more information about everything else. I like this Prisma. 
I like that it automatically populates it and I don't have to be good at maths. I like that a lot. You can export your data and just chuck it straight into your manuscript. I like that a lot too. Ooh, what's in settings? Here we go. Now careful, there's a big red button that's just crying out to be clicked, but I really don't want to click that because that's going to stuff up the entire... Well, it's going to do exactly as it claims that it will do. <laughs> so maybe don't do that. But you can see here you've have got the answers for how many reviewers are required to screen to get a paper to the next stage. You can make that two or three, however many you like. See? Criteria. So here is where you put your inclusion and exclusion criteria. That's quite useful to get that right, to get that as tight as you can so that your reviewers can review. Oh, and you can use the search function here to search studies. I can actually use the search function. Should we find out? What do I need to know here? Do I need to know the name of the author? Hmm. What about the name of the title? Ooh, cool. We got some titles came up. Nice. Okay, so that works. Yee. So, what do I think of this Covident software? I'd have to go with. I like it. It looks really useful and. I like that you can extract a lot of data from it in useful ways such as the Prisma but you can also download a Excel spreadsheet of all the information that you have extracted from all of the articles that you've reviewed. That's really ha helpful with this export button it gives you all sorts of options. A little bit clunky in some places. It took a little bit of, of a while for me to find my way around. But overall, I'm rating this an 8.7 out of 10. So thank you very much, Covidence. Keep doing your good stuff. Peace out.